Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are doing another tutorial. This time I'm showing you how to change your Sims age in Sim PE. If you've been watching my Pleasant View series, you know that I've needed to change the ages of my adult Sims for quite some time. So we're gonna go ahead and do that today. So let's jump on in and learn something, shall we? Here we are in the Broke household with Brandy Broke, who is one of the Sims that I need to change the most. As you can see here, she is going to become an elder in 32 days, which means that she is currently 28 days old because in my aging system, Sims become an elder at 60 days. The reason that this is a problem is because her son, Dustin, who just left for college, is 18 days old, which would mean that Brandy had him when she was only 10 days old or 10 years old because one day is one year in my aging system. This is a major problem to me. I don't think that's appropriate or correct. And so I do think that Brandy would be a younger mother. Maybe she had him as a teen while still in high school, but she did not have him at 10. So we're gonna go ahead and change that in Sim PE, and I'm gonna show you how. So you launch your Sim PE program, which I will include a download link to in the description box. So you can download Sim PE for yourself if you don't already have it. You then go to Tools, Neighborhood, Neighborhood Browser, and you're going to select whatever hood you are trying to edit. In this case, I'm going to be selecting Pleasant View, and then I will click on Open and wait for everything to load. You can see everything has loaded up. So again, I will go to Tools, Neighborhood, Sim Browser, and then I'll wait for everything to load up from that. It will load all of the citizens of Pleasant View, like all of the playables, non-playables, all of those different characters. You can now see here that we have the character window, so we just have to locate the Sim that we want to change the age for. So we're going to go here to Brandy Broke, highlight her, and click Open. All of Brandy's information is right here now. You see she's an adult, a human, normal Sim. She has, it says here, remaining days of 31. She actually has 32, but Sim PE always does it to where it's one number less than what it should actually be. So I'm going to go ahead and actually make her 34 years old and say that she had Dustin when she was 16. So she should actually have 26 days left, which would mean we want to put the number 25 in this box. We're then going to go over here and click on commit to commit the changes. Then we're going to go to File, Save, and then we're going to go back into our game and see that the changes took place. Now, as we load back into the Broke household and check Brandy's age, we see that she, in fact, does become an elder in 26 days, which means she is now 34 days old instead of 28 days old, which means that she had Dustin at 16 instead of 10, which, while still unfortunate, is much more appropriate than 10. Teen parenting does happen, as we all know, and I feel like that that's a lot more realistic and could explain why they have such a strained relationship as well. Now, let's go ahead and check out two more Sims who could use an age change and get them fixed as well. We're now here in the Lothario household where we find Cassandra and Don sleeping on their wedding night. Cassandra here says that she becomes an elder in 38 days, which makes her 22 days old. And Don becomes an elder in 39 days, which makes him 21 days old. I don't think they're 21 and 22, especially with Don being level four intern in the medical career and Cassandra being field researcher level three in the science career. So we're going to go ahead and fix their ages in Sim PE as well. Once again, you load up your Sim PE program. You go to Tools, Neighborhood, Neighborhood Browser. You select the hood that you're going to work on. Again, this is Pleasant View. Then you click Open. You let that load up. Then you go to Tools, Neighborhood, Sim Browser, and then you'll let everything load up again, all of the households, NPCs, all that good stuff. And then once this pops up, you find the Sim that you're going to edit. In this case, we will now find Cassandra Lothario. We will click Open. Cassandra's information is displayed here. It says that she has 37 days remaining. It's actually 38 because it does one less in Sim PE. And then so we're going to go ahead and add 10 days to her life to make her 32 instead of 22. So we're going to say that she has 27 days remaining because that will make her have 28 days remaining. Then we're going to go ahead and click Commit, File, Save. We will then again go to Tools, Neighborhood, Sim Browser, and then we will select Don Lothario and then click Open. As you can see here, Don says he has 38 days left, which is really actually 39, which means he's 21. I think he's more 33. So we're going to go ahead and put down 26 days left because that will give him 27 days left. We will then click Commit, File, Save. That saves the changes. And now we're going to go ahead and go back into the game and see that they have been committed. So we are once again back in the Lothario household. And as you can see here, Cassandra now becomes an elder in 28 days, which means that she is 32 instead of 22. 
And Don becomes an elder in 27 days, which means that he is 33 instead of 21, which means that our changes were in fact successful. So that's how you change a Sim's age in Sim PE. I hope that you found this video helpful. I know that it can seem overwhelming at first, but just like changing a household name, it becomes super easy the more you do it and you have that repetition. I know that Sim PE seems like a lot, but I promise you that once you get the hang of it, you'll be using it like a pro in no time. And again, I'm going to include the link to that in the description box so you can download that for yourself if you don't already have it. Thank you for watching today's video. Again, I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something. I'll see you with another Pleasant View episode and Sunset Valley episode very soon. Also, make sure to check out my Twitch channel where I stream Strange Town on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And we'll also be starting to stream the My Sims Cozy Bundle. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you with another video very soon. Bye, everyone!